today speaking with Sheriff Finstrom of the Wexford County Sheriff's Office about their new jail that they're putting in right here in Cadillac. Hello, Sheriff. Hi. Tell me a little bit about this new facility that you guys are installing. Well, it's going to be much larger than our current. Our current facility was built in 1963, and at that time it had a capacity of 24 beds, or 24 inmates. A number of years ago, we uh, made some changes in the facility and added eight additional beds, so our capacity today is 32. Our new jail will have a bed capacity of 158 beds. Wow, so that's quite the leap. And so what have you guys been doing up until now to supply of room for those inmates that you have? Well, we've been basically in continuous overcrowding, and by law we cannot operate in an overcrowding condition, so we have to make arrangements, and what we do is we house people in other facilities. Mm. And it's not unusual to spend $750,000, $800,000 a year uh, renting beds from other jurisdictions. And in 19, January 1st of 1990, we started keeping track, and we are over $13 million in bed rentals you know, since that time. And so with the new facility, we're going to be able to you know, keep all of our inmates in one spot, keep them home. It's going to require some additional staff to operate that larger mm -hmm. facility, but with the cost savings of that $800,000 a year, we'll be able to pay for that additional staff as well as uh, leave some money, you know, in the pot per yeah. se, you know, for the county to use, the county board of commissioners for the general fund, it'll be you know, less of a drain on that. So it's a win-win all the way around. You know, it's uh, it's needed in our community, it's been needed, and we're very grateful that it's going to be provided for. Absolutely, and so it's really an investment of sorts. And so tell me what this means for the Sheriff's Office. You guys have been working on this for a while. We've been working on it for over two years, and uh, the expected completion of the facility is anywhere from 16 to 18 months from now. And uh, some of the other improvements, in addition to the uh, larger amount of jail beds, is that we're going to have, you know, new modern offices, you know, more space, uh, locker rooms and showers and those types of things for our, our staff. Right. And we don't have those in the old facility. Um, it's just going to be, you know, HVAC is a big factor. You know, we don't have that in the uh, old facility. So it's just going to be an improved working conditions for all members of the Sheriff's Office. That's great, and you guys definitely deserve that. And so tell me, how much does this pro project cost overall? Well, as they told today, the, uh, they got a loan from the USDARD for about $11.5 million, and the total projected project costs for about $13.5 million. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's a lot of money, but if you look at our history, yeah. we've spent that amount of money, you know, since 1990. Yeah, that 13 million evens out flat right there, what you've spent and what you're saving in the future. So this is exciting. I'm so excited for you guys. Anything else that you would like to let people know about this facility? It's just a great day for Wexford County that we can start this project. We've worked on it for many, many years. And it's just not only like the sheriff's office and the sheriff's staff, you know, the other elected officials have been part of this project, the county board of commissioners, uh, the judges have been part of this project and, and have been given the opportunities and have been involved in the studies that were done. And so it's just been a huge countywide project and it's just a great improvement of the infrastructure of the community. You know, when people look at a community, they look at the hospitals, they look at the schools, and they do look at the law enforcement and those types of things. So we're just, you know, you know improving the basic infrastructure of the Cadillac and the Cadillac area of Wexford County. Absolutely. Thank you, Sheriff Finstrom. Thank you so much. In Cadillac, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.